Well, what's going on, folks? Welcome back to the Lawn Shark Channel. So we are back here at Page High School, and uh, we've been a little bit busy. Not me exactly. Really, Travis, the coach, uh, head coach over here, who's also the uh, greenskeeper. Sorry about the noise. I don't have my dead cat on here, so I can't really uh, keep the noise from happening from the wind. But that's okay. We'll keep going. So he's been running that bee thatcher over everything and just kind of breaking up. And he's got a little obsessive over it, and that's okay because uh, he's 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 doing a great job. But uh, we've got 22,000 square feet. He's broken it up. We're gonna do the seed now that he's gone through it with the deep thatcher several times. Seed it all down and then we'll get some water on here. We'll be good to go. So that's what we're, that's the plan for today. And uh, let's get going. Looks like we got it all done. Travis is just doing the last few runs with the mower. But um, if you look down here, you can see how much how much we tore up right here. And that's just gonna be a nice little mulch bed right there. And then uh, you can definitely see on the back of the gator and uh, how much grass is actually stuck like right in there. All right, so the seed we're using is this Revenge GLX Prairie Ryegrass by Berenbrug. Uh, and just so in case you guys were wondering, uh, this is not something that we were able to purchase. Uh, Berenbrug was gracious enough to provide this seed for us. It's a really good turf grass, uh, really cold tolerant. It obviously isn't going to last um, into the summer just because of the fact of the heat. But we're just trying to do a little bit of overseeding since this is mostly Bermuda. And this should do really well, get us into the softball season in the spring. And then we'll be in good shape from there. So funny editor's note right here. The reason why I'm chasing after Travis is because the hopper was stuck wide open on the spreader, which is why we didn't use this for the pre-emergent the week before. So I'm basically having to chase him around the field as he's spreading out all of the seed and open up bags and drop them in while he's going. So it was pretty funny at the time and it made for a pretty good workout. So we're going through this in this direction, just doing the half moon. And then what he's going to do is we got plenty of seeds, so we're going to go up and down um, all the way through as well. And that'll get us to that 200 pounds of seed for the for the whole thing. We're putting down about 10 pounds per thousand, and I think that that should cover us pretty well. But uh, yeah, if I had to do that by hand, <laughs> we'd be here forever. So I'm kind of glad uh, we have that that spreader. That spreader is actually wide open and there's no way to adjust it, but it actually turns out it's the exact amount that we need to get out there. So we're pretty good shape. thatching over this and that's actually going to help us to get that seed down in, underneath the canopy and um, from there we can uh, keep moving on again thanks so much to Berenbrook for providing the seed for this project couldn't done this without them it's 200 pounds of seed over 22,000 square feet it's quite a bit but uh, I think it'll be good it's about 10 pounds per thousand and that should give us a really good coverage this uh, grass is actually formulated as a turf grass is perfect for these fields it can be mowed anywhere from a half an inch all the way up to two and a half inches and what we're going to be doing is probably leaving this at about an inch 
uh, for the purposes of uh, playing softball. But um, this, out, this works out perfectly. It's exactly what we needed for this project. And um, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be a really good turnout. And uh, we'll just keep going from here. All right, now that we got all that seed in place, we are gonna run through the dethatcher de to knock it down underneath that canopy a little bit. And that should get all the seed down. And then we just gotta get a bunch of water on it. And uh, that's gonna be the, the life of this turf for the next uh, couple weeks at least. So that's where we're going now. Get this thing going. So that's pretty much it. We are going to finish up here today. Um, I'll come back and show you guys some results here probably in a week or two. This should germinate within five days or so, but I'll come back in a couple weeks when you can actually see it coming up through the through the canopy. And then uh, we can uh, give you guys some, some results on what that looks like. And again, this is all in preparation for the spring season because the Bermuda won't be in full swing when they play softball here. So uh, this uh, perennial ryegrass uh, turf type perennial ryegrass will actually be a really nice change for them. And then the big thing that we're gonna combat this year is all the crabgrass. So we'll be treating that in the late uh, winter, but we'll come back for all that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And if you wanna be notified of future videos, don't forget to hit that bell. I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.